is the view. We are in San Marino, own little country. Here's the star of the show, Mr. Edwards. Tell me, Mr. Edwards, how do you like it here in San Marino? Buono, uh, uh, buonasera, welcome to my land. Uh, this is the Republic of the San Marino. Um, what you see is what you get. Actually, that is Italy. Oh, oh, thank you so much. It's like a little fairy tale land. This is our room in San Marino. And we've got a lovely outdoor deck, pretty much all to ourselves. There's someone next door here, but it doesn't appear like there's anyone at home. And we have got a fantastic view <laughs> thus. Beautiful day. Just starting in uh, San Marino, ladies and gentlemen. This is the view from the top of the hill. Looking out over Italia. That's also part of San Marino, I think, a little township. There's a cable car, which you may or may not see the cables for. It's off here. They change now. Change now. Shotty has just gone down. She's just disobeying Debbie's rules. Recalculating. And she's just seeing where. Recalculating. Oh, it's going to be a dirt road soon. Recalculating. Recalculating. It's got to go somewhere. Someone's house. It's dragging off a Ferrari. side of the road that's uh, telling us we're in a different part of Italy now folks this is uh, on the peninsula on the spur of the hill uh, Gagonia and we're going to go to a place called uh, V-I-E-S-T-E you can see by the sign coming up Veste so um, it's very dry around here very different Made it to the top of this hill on our way to Vesti, and that's a bit of the view we can see. In the distance is our destination, Vesta. Just uh, driving into the township of Vest, and we assume that our place is up on the hill because it's got a cliff top view. More on that later. The distant view from our hotel in Vest. Vest, I speak the language very well. Going straight and looking this way, Hotel Sabano. And there's a short recourse reading the book and uh, swimming in the swimming pool. The olive trees of, Na of um, Italy. We're going through an olive tree forest. You see, there's this cool brick walls as well. Very, very old area. This is the view from our accommodation in Naples. That's the old Spanish quarter. This is the Via Toledo. It's very busy. More people walking along than driving. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how busy it gets. And in here is our bedroom. A boudoir, as they say. And luckily we've got double glazing, we can just shut that noisy street away. And it's our own little oasis. We've made it to the Michelle uh, Pizzeria Bar in um, Naples. This is the best margarita pizza in the world, according to Shotty's book of Eat Love Pray. 
and um, they're having an argument about the air conditioning. Action it is. This is the best pizza in the world. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. What makes it beautiful? Here's our boat to Capri, ladies and gentlemen, and in the background you will see the Mount Vesuvius. We're just cruising out to the island of Capri on the Inter Islander Ferry. This is the Grande Marina in Capri. <laughs> si, they're holding the marquee. Right, 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 This is Anna Capri. It's taking the chairlift ride to the top of the island of Capri. Of course, Ted in front, everyone else following behind. But misty moment but we can see the town of Anna Capri down the top of the uh, island of Capri and a long way up a long long way up that chairlift took us a long way up um, you can't really tell how high up we are we sort of might if you can see those little boats down there say goodbye to Capri, a lovely day we've had and um, we say arrivederci to the island of Capri. We are walking down to the underground tour of Naples, a walk that has taken 25 minutes today but we've got heaps of time to spare. Everything's shut because it's Sunday. Just checking out the pasta. Different shapes, colours, flavours. You know how it goes. So you push to the bed, they open the shop door, and then we are going to see the backstage, the changing room of the Roman actors from the wine cellar of the house. So well. Well, well, well. Because of the work. So when this was a bunker, many families lived here for a long time. And outside, the situation is not easier. Because in 1946, so the year after the second well, the end of the This uh, pretty much sums up Naples. Cobblestone roads, chaotic traffic, rubbish just piled, just all over the street, it's dirty. <laughs> that is Naples, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I've got to do a picture. Wait, wait, waiting, waiting, and... smooth the roads are here in Naples.